We have a mint utility bed back here. This truck was used and it was worked. So the overall goal here is to rebuild this truck from the ground up. I already tried. Oh, a little flippy. There's no way. I tried to. Hey, he, your dad is a professional monster truck yeah, driver, Beard's and he it. can't do a burnout. Beard's got it. I'm oh. not even nervous. Beard's got it. I don't think it could do a burnout, though, man. I just don't see it. You did it! How did? It was the worst brake stand I've ever seen in my life, Beard. <laughs> this one is in really mint shape. Did you see that? No, I haven't even looked at this truck. Let's, let's, oh, that's nice. Oh, don't oh, you just scratched the paint? I think I can save the body. <laughs> what the heck are you lifting, here? <laughs> Eric, I don't know if I want to know. How he picks up women. It's a whaling, whaling. Uh... You know that day Eric was late to work? He was over by the Suez Canal, hooked onto the Evergreen, trying to move it. <laughs> Where did you find this thing? <laughs> I believe January, February, we acquired like three diesel trucks. You acquired... Well, one came from your dad. Oh, okay. The Power right. Stroke. Yeah. So, and then of course we had the Dodge. That Ram. was free. The dad's truck was free. Yeah, that one was free. Uh, the Dodge Ram I purchased from my brother-in-law. And it was a rusty pile of dog doo. <laughs> so <laughs> it, it looks... A dumpster for real. <laughs> dumpster Cummins. It looks a lot better than it does now. And then... The other one that we acquired was the LMM Duramax, which I'm going to show you guys a video. We're going to be installing the heads. Stay tuned. It's going to be very exciting. I cannot wait to hear this thing fire up for the first time. Of course, the shorty build that we have not talked about in a while. So I'm going to give you guys a quick update on what we have. We're going to do a full unboxing of all the parts that we have and sort of what's to come for that one right there. So make sure you guys stay tuned. But it's been a great year for us, and I really appreciate you guys that have subscribed and been watching the channel. You guys are just tremendous. Did you mention the GMC? <laughs> <laughs> we got that this year too. Yeah, the GMC. What other truck did we get? Oh, I... I know, it's hard to keep track anymore. Yeah. I don't know what I'm going to do with all these, but I, I buy them, guys, because of content. content. That's what it's for. It's not because I want them. Look at me. Look what I got. It's nothing like that. It's because my channel is a build channel. So I build these trucks because I want you guys to get some sort of value out of these so they can help you out, save you guys a ton of money. Not only that, share our experience with you. So that's why I build these trucks. This is why I buy a lot of them. So, And hopefully we can start selling some of these. Or giving them away. We have some options here for giveaways. This is gonna be tough. Times get rough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, especially like, but who knows what this year will bring, year 2021. Uh, year 2022. Oh yeah, 2022. I know, this year went by so fast, it's hard to say, now it's 2022. Let um, me know in the comments, has this year went by quick for you? Let me know. Yeah, it totally has, I think for everybody. What we did at Ryan's Diesel Service at Kodiak Truck in Wisconsin, because I'm in Michigan, so I have to travel to do stuff like this, but it's a lot of fun doing it. But what we did is last year, or January, we purchased a $1,200 Duramax. It's a utility truck from the West. But our goal here, since it's a single cab, eight foot bed, we're gonna shorten this thing down, make it a shorty build. Make sure you guys watch till the end because we're gonna reveal the paint color that we're going with and what we're actually doing with this thing. We may actually drop her. We is may, it, we may actually be, lower it. It's going to be red again. <laughs> I know some of your viewers are getting sick of the red. <laughs> Definitely not, right? It will not be red again, I promise. <laughs> but we've already torn it down in the shop a uh, long time ago. It's just been sitting in a corner somewhere, unfortunately. We have not been able to get to it due to shortages 
on supplies. That's one because you know how our economy is going right now. It's very hard to get parts. Sometimes it takes us eight to nine months just to get certain parts that we're looking for. Very specialized parts. Um, and then of course the other thing is, is time and travel. So that and all of your projects you've accumulated. This, I'm telling you, <laughs> why did I get her on camera? <laughs> Nonstop. Another project, another project. Yeah, so that's kind of what's going on with the Shorty build, and we're gonna go ahead and get right into it. Ryan's Diesel Service, Kodiak Truck, huge shout out to those guys. Thank you guys so much for your tremendous support. But we're gonna talk about that right now. Thanks we're for gonna... fixing my truck, Mark. Yeah, well that was, well okay, that was actually the reason why I wasn't able to do it as well, because the LMM, yeah. the head gaskets were actually bad, so I had to get that squared away. I broke her truck. I uh, had to go to Wisconsin and get that knocked out so I couldn't do three vehicles at one time. That was also a really big reason for it. But I was supposed to wrap this build up in 2021 and I never did. So, man. You were supposed to wrap up the Cummins build in the summertime. But I got it done before the end of the year. Yeah, yeah there you go. Well, kind of. We still have zip ties going on back there. <laughs> All right, guys. Anyways, uh, we're going to go ahead and get to this right now. Stay tuned. Yeah, that's that's in good shape yet. That'll run probably another two hundred thousand miles. If there's any carnage left in this truck here? Oh, here we go. Tie rod center. Inner tie rod. Big deal. So we're just kind of assessing everything, guys. Look at this metal right here. That looks good. A little bit of surface, but that's just from scratching over time. But these inner rockers are are mint. What? Let's not hit it like we're a girl. Josh's hurt. You gotta hit it. You're a fine chicken dick. You're a mere asshole. Dude, I gotta just hit it just right. Two inches. Yeah, that's perfect. <laughs> hey, still. Hey. Josh. Yeah. I don't know if I can hit it with this piece. That's like still pretty damn solid. <laughs> well, what about Eric? You're blocking the camera. Eric, the official here, just in case Bush is watching. There, now you're set. See, all it took was that hat. Look, now you're getting it off. Wow. What are you trying to feed out of there? Hopes and dreams. Yeah, we got her. We didn't want to heat it up on this side because obviously this frozen, rusted, stuck spare tire up here isn't going to come out. So we didn't want to heat this thing up and have a blowout. So I went ahead and just beat the crap out of it. That's about it. So I think we're good to go. show you where we're at in the process so as you guys can see over here we have a white standard cab or single cab eight foot bed it's an lb7 truck we picked up from out west for i believe like twelve hundred dollars but as you guys can tell the frame is crusty right here you guys can see that but it is clean metal so we have a rust-free cab and essentially, I mean, this this was a utility truck. This had a utility bed on it and everything, as you guys saw there. But we tore her down to nothing. Right now, it's kind of mocked up. There's no engine, transmission, no drivetrain on this truck whatsoever. We basically just put the cab back on the frame. And I'm going to go ahead and get this frame sent out for sandblasting as well as powder coating. So let's go ahead and go inside the building and show you guys exactly what we have for this truck. It doesn't look like much, but I think it'll be worth your time. The Death Grip Kryptonite Tie Rods. These are HD tie rods. These are the best of the best. Matter of fact, I sell these on my website, guys, if you want to pick a set up, but absolutely awesome. You guys can't beat Kryptonite products. I absolutely love their stuff. And then if you come on over here, we do have the upgraded Kryptonite ball joints as well for the uppers and lowers control arms. So uh, we're going to be installing all this stuff here in the next few months. I'm going to show you guys how all this stuff goes in and, of course, why it's so important. Let's go ahead and put this away and show you what else we have. 
This right here, guys, is an HSP Max High Flow Bundle Kit. Our goal here is to install an RDS single charger in the valley. I'm gonna call this an Enforcer Blue. I, we'll just go there. I think it's gonna look really sharp. I've been kind of talking about what color we're gonna go with as well. So what we decided on this truck is we are gonna have a black metallic on the top. We're gonna have a bright blue stripe, thin stripe through there, and we're gonna be pearl white on the bottom. We're gonna really jazz this thing up and make it look cool. We're gonna add a little bit of graphics in on the box. Got some ideas in my head. We all talked about it. We all kind of agreed on it. It's gonna be cool. Um, and obviously this is a two-wheel drive truck and it's gonna stay two-wheel drive. Hmm. And she's gonna go kind of low too. So there might be some haters out there that don't like low trucks, but low is fast. Low and short. You betcha. Low, light, and fast. End up just sliding the suspension forward in the back and we'll nip the end of the frame off. We've researched this got a plan of attack and then lowering we picked DJM they by far have been around forever they've got the best stuff out there if you look at the wells and the bushings and just everything on their stuff it's incredible so we're gonna drop this this is gonna be a 3.5 drop um, we got our even our shortened up neoprene bump stops for the back our lowered uh, brackets spring shackle brackets our shackles here we got full shocks all four shocks to go all the way around so we're gonna drop it like I say three five five in the back three in the front and uh, make her kind of low and give it kind of a like a drag truck look something low and fast so DJM I can't say enough about them they've been around forever they're they're I mean they're a California company you know lower trucks started out on the coast and uh, like I say, their, their quality, you just look at it and you can tell by looking at it, the quality of the stuff, how thick everything is and how quality it is made. But guys, let me know in the comments what you think about our idea with the low, uh, short, fast. You guys let me know. It's a little different from the other stuff that we've been doing as far as lift kits, big tires, like 35s. We're just doing something completely different than we normally do here on the channel. Hey, sound a little crazy, a little over the top, but I'm thinking a single stack in the bed. I don't know. Maybe, maybe okay, not. Boy. Sky's the limit. I want to send a huge shout out to these guys back here um, for allowing me once again to come over here and film and team up and do these really cool, awesome builds and share it with my viewers. So thank you guys so much for all that support. Absolutely. Yeah. And um, also, I got to say, guys, if you're interested in any diesel parts whatsoever, uh, turbos, transmissions, transfer cases, stuff like that, I'll leave a link in the description for RyansDieselService.com as well as KodiakTruck.com as well as a coupon code is going to be truckmaster just wanted to keep you guys updated on what's going on since i'm here in the great state of wisconsin and i'm hoping maybe february i'm going to get back up here and really slam down some really awesome content and we're going to do this again like we did with this truck right here look at this this is an loi we just finished building this truck maybe a little ahead of myself here but hopefully when i come back here this truck will have some 36s on it yep. but that's it we'll see you on the next one stay tuned